Hello everyone, it is Wednesday, July 4th, in the year of our Lord 2012. Happy Independence Day to the great country, the United States of America. 236 years old. Hi, Michaela. Hello. Hi, Aubrey. Hi, Booker Butts. Delilah Beans. And yours truly, the Reverend Love. So, folks. Hope you're all doing well. We're doing well. Um, got to start off with the sponsors. Right off the bat, my man Wally Fortier. Hey, he's a, daddy. Your oh, daddy. Yeah. Yes. And look. And what does WASP stand for? Wally's aluminum shaping process. What the? What? I know. Wally's aluminum shaping process. There you go. That's it. Facebook.com. Slash W A S P A A. Folks, he makes all kinds of aluminum signs. It's phenomenal. The guy has got serious skills, and he's a damn good man, a good friend. And uh, hope you're doing well, my brother. I know I am. Also sponsored by my dear friend Crystal Lloyd's KJ Go KJ Lloyd Organo Gold Coffee. There's the website. www.kj Lloyd dot org, organ, hey. dot com. Wow, hey, guess what? there's a lot going on today. Guess what? What? Where uh, me, Aubrey, and Michaela are holding the the pony that we are being in in the My Little Pony game. She's Twilight Sparkle. Mm -hmm. I would originally be be Sweetie Belle, but I didn't get a Sweetie Belle toy, so I just pretended to be Fluttershy. Okay. And Aubrey's sweet song. Oh, what a sweet song! Well, I'm having a beer. I'm thirsty. Yeah, I'm pied. You're having a sweet beer. Look at this. The Shoes Brewery Twilight Summer Ale. It hey, is summer. Bend, Oregon. That's her name. Maybe five percent. That's, that's, that's a good her name. average strength beer. Mmm. Uh oh. It didn't fizz. I don't well, want it to fizz. I know it. There's a method to a my madness well, of pouring beer it properly. Ew, is it wet here? Oh yeah, the beer's cold. Oh yes, people! I finally did cut my fingernails. They're not claws anymore. Amazing. They're not claws. Cheers and beers to all of you and happy Here. birthday, United States of America! Here. Wicked awesome. Here. Down the hat. I'm gonna do, okay. I'm gonna do the Fluttershy thing. Um. Mmm. Beer. All righty. Um. Before I get to the birthdays, I want to show off something that my wife made. Look at this. Oh yeah. From scratch. Red, white, and blue. Look, the girls have Jello. I had one earlier. Now these are G-rated Jello cups. Okay, that means they are non-alcoholic. Okay. Mmm. Mm, it's cherry, and then wait till you get to. Did you hear the sound it made? It sounded like a turnip. <laughs> Did you have to say that? Mmm. Yes. It's are these nummy? Yeah, yeah. it's Jello. I'm on the red oh, oh, oh. Seriously? Mm. <laughs> yeah, oh, seriously. he's getting down to the blue already. If you need a song of the day to <laughs> tell you. Listen, he snorted. Mm. Looks like she did too. Why not? It's the 4th of July. Hey, Daddy, you do it again. It mean you can do anything. <laughs> Hang on, listen. Do it again. Mm-mm. <laughs> Pretty please. For your 10-year-old ten, dog. No, I... There was no way I was going to have Paps Blue Ribbon on this beer, on this show. Uh-uh. That's... Can I, can I have a taste? Mm-hmm. Because I didn't get to try the blue raspberry yet. <laughs> <laughs> My piece. Seriously? Mm. Help! My face is stuck in jello! <laughs> Gone. All right, time for some birthday shoutouts. Okay. Okay. Happy okay. milestone birthday to a very, very, very good friend of mine, Jim Skinner, celebrating a true milestone. I would reveal your age, but I don't know if you want me to or not, so I won't. But uh, you can chime in can later. You, Hope you, you enjoy the show, can, my can friend. You whispering, can you whisper into my ear how old he is? Oh, oh my God! God! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That. That's an awesome age, I'm telling oh, yeah. you. That's right. Well, folks, see, my friend Jim and I, we've been emailing music to each other for over a decade. We love the old school doo-wop. What about our picture? 
He's got me into a lot of the doo-wop ballads. I got him into the up-tempo stuff along with gospel and some great rhythm and blues, even a little bit of rockabilly. But we love the old school gospel, and him and I, I mean, wow, we're always talking music. Oh, we've got the picture of the day. All right, real quick. We have two of them. Mm-hmm. It's Whoa, a picture, Delilah! It's a picture of all the Sonic characters that I know how to draw, but but but, but at their the but at their the but, but at their Fourth of July carnival. Wow! We have Tails, Blaze, Amy, Sonic. Um, I can't. I don't know what to name her yet. Me and Cream. Yay! Wow! My picture's not colored. It's double sided. It's okay. Wow! Good job. We have. This is Blaze's Fourth of July party with Blaze, Amy, Cream, a uh, character I made named Tyrena, and Tails. I don't know how to draw. You know, it's amazing. These kids can outdraw me like crazy. I'm more I, autistic I than artistic. Wow, who made that? Me. Yep. She's an artist. Show. Show it off. Work it fast. Wow. It's a picture of Amy, but when she's grown up, I These kids right. can draw, folks. All right, so big shout out to my man Jim. Hey, what about the other side? Salute, my friend. You are an awesome guy, an awesome friend. I hope you're having a wicked awesome birthday. Next on the list, I worked with this guy in good old California, the land of fruits and nuts. My man <laughs> Ben Maddox. Oh! Phenomenal guy. Happy birthday to you. Hope you're having a wicked awesome day. I know I am. As you can tell, kids everywhere. I know, right? Seriously. We're having He's fun. He's surrounded by girls. Yeah, but they're young. They're my daughter's friends. Hello. Crazy. Well, anyway, Ben. Hey. Hope you have a great day. Well, yeah, I've well, adopted you as my. That's right. I've adopted you as my daughter. You're good kids. <laughs> anyway, so Ben, hope you have a wicked awesome day, my friend. Party hard and enjoy. Next on the list, my man Wally's gonna love this guy. Happy milestone birthday to my friend Travis Peterson. Who I worked with in jolly old England. Say who now? 25 years old, Travis the perfect age. Something. Now, see, Travis is a diehard, wicked, hardcore Broncos fan from Colorado. My yep. dad grew up there and met Jim Carrey there. Oh, yeah? Yes. And your dad's a huge Broncos fan. He found a foam head. Foam head. We found a big giant. We saw a store by uh, the football what stadium. We had uh -huh. it and it had a huge store of just everything Broncos. Yep. Wow. Well, there you go. Now, see, Travis, there wasn't even remember I said this guy makes uh, aluminum art, okay? He's got a beautiful Broncos um, emblem place. right in front of the house. He's also got uh, window stickers. I mean, it's phenomenal. The guy's wicked hardcore Broncos fan. He does. Mm -hmm. Are you two Broncos fans? Yes. Big time. Okay. I'm a Patriots fan, people! That's right. Delilah's a Patriots fan. Patriots are America's team, don't forget. Without Massachusetts, they wouldn't be in America. All right? Don't forget that. Yeah, without Massachusetts, the United States wouldn't even exist. Exactly. Thank you, Delilah. Yeah. So, Travis, cheers and beers to you, my friend, and hope you have a wicked awesome day. Hey. Good luck. Do not mention Massachusetts. Why? Why? It's a dead state. Ghost adventures. It's so great. It's so great. All right. Next on the list. Happy Kennedy, birthday, my Kennedy, man George Boston. Kennedy. Okay. Great okay. man okay. I know okay. from okay. Fresno, okay. California. Okay. A very good man. You actually love Ghost Adventures. Nice yeah. and chilled, cool dude, good friend. Friend of my brother-in-law, Matt Delgado. And, uh... Hey, Hope you're doing well, brother. brother. Party hard and enjoy. Be smart, be safe. Be careful that's about shaking this because you're shaking the table and shaking the camera. Now I'm going to have to do this all over again if this keeps up. All right. So, George, what do you think, what party do you hard and enjoy, my friend. Dress? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Next on the list, a wonderful, wonderful friend of my beloved love goddess, Farah. Happy birthday, Angelica Pardo. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're living it up. Hope you're you're lesser half but equally awesome guy. Uh, Miguel is taking care of you. Miguel, big shout out to you, my man. Hope you're doing well. You guys have an awesome family and you're awesome friends. Love to see you again down the road. And I know we will. All right. So next on the list, happy birthday. I have yet to meet this young lady in person, but a great lady nonetheless. 
Melody Hassel, happy birthday. Hope you're doing well. Love playing the apps with you. It's a lot of fun. And, uh, loving the old Farm Bill and Mafia Wars, all that good stuff. Scramble with friends, words with friends. And uh, hanging with friends. Okay, kids, you're too loud. I'm trying to talk over here. All righty. Okay, okay. So, hope you have a great day, Melody. Hey, Michaela. Next I'm, on the list, hey, Daddy, my Daddy. friend Brooke Olson. Happy birthday Daddy. to you. I've known you since high school. And uh, you hey. look like you haven't aged a bit. What, baby daughter? Yeah, hang on real quick. Speak. Michaela, I've been nice, but. <laughs> They're having a fight. This is lovely. With a wallet. <laughs> Kids, with can't a, live with them, can't shoot them, but. You know, we love them. So, Brooke, hope you're doing well. If I'm not mistaken, you're living out in the land of fruits and nuts now. I spent eight glorious years there and loved it. Good times. Get that in and out burger. Awesome stuff. I miss it. Next on the list, celebrating a milestone. A big 30. Welcome to my world. That bracket anyway. My man, Jamie Outlaw. Dr. Outlaw. What's going on, big man? Worked with you in jolly old England. I know you're a Georgia guy. Georgia State fan, Georgia Tech fan, I'm just kidding, I know, big Georgia fan, huge Georgia fan, huge Braves fan, definitely a true homer like I am, it's the way to be, got to root for the home teams, hey, look why would you say no, there. Aubrey? I'm not saying no, I'm waving my flag, oh. ah, look, at, look at my head there, oh wow, that'd hey, be nice, no breaking yeah. anything, so Dr. Outlaw, party hard and enjoy, Party like it's 1969 minus the acid, okay? Enjoy, my brother. All right, and how about a couple additional shout-outs? A shout-out to one of our most devout listeners and viewers, my man Justin Dimmitt, fellow Masonic brother. He's a Trekkie. He's a great Both man. Sonic. Plays with scrap metal and lives in Germany. One of the great homes of beer. Mm, <laughs> beer. And chocolate. And chocolate. I think Belgium's got them beat when it comes to beer and chocolate myself, but not too bad. So Justin, like. hope you enjoy the show, brother. We're having a great time, as you can tell. And my ears are almost bleeding because it's loud. And finally, a shout-out to my man, C.J. Clements, diehard Cowboys fan, diehard Yankees fan. Uh, <laughs> I saw a great And diehard Miami Heat fan. With LeBron James. <laughs> yeah. See? <laughs> Ugh. Who's our favorite baseball team? Uh, Red Sox. Who's Red our, Sox. <laughs> who's our favorite football team? Patriots. Y'all's Patriots. Patriots. Yeah. That's right. See? That's Wally. Right. Did you hear your daughter? That's right. Aubrey said the Patriots and so did Michaela. Ha <laughs> ha. I said y'all. Uh, yeah. yeah. They said Patriots. Yeah. That's all I heard. Who's our favorite um, basketball team, Delilah? Celtics. That's right. And who's our favorite hockey team? Bruins. That's right. Do we like the Yankees? No. No. Do we like the New York Jets? No. No. Do we like the Lakers? No. no! Do we like the Montreal Canadiens? No. What the heck? Hockey. But we do love hockey. We love Canada. Great country. But all right, folks. We've... Got all the shout outs out of the way. It is time for the movie said, of the day. Did you say Eli Manning? Crunch. You just said it. Folks, how fitting is it to Don't have say it. the movie of the day being Independence Day? That for movie. that's what it is. It's not upside down, people, okay? And you know what would be kind of cool is if we did have aliens come like that without losing what I we lost in that movie. But phenomenal movie, 1996. Bill Pullman. I wish we had a president that cool. Uh, Will Smith, absolutely phenomenal in that movie. Jeff Goldblum, absolutely yeah, phenomenal as well. Judd me. Hirsch, hilarious. Randy oh. Quaid, phenomenal. I mean, <laughs> just a great movie. World Independence, how cool would that be? I, I had that movie. They're bombs. Ronnie King said it best. Why can't we all get along? That's what I'd like to know too, folks. When I was in South Dakota fixing to see Mount Rushmore, I saw this big... I look at the good in everyone. What? I saw this Anything big military memorial for the people Anything who fought in war. Oh, yeah? And this one guy had his name and what happened to him and stuff, like on the road. And then it hit at the bottom and you're doing Yankees. Oh, wow. So stop talking like that. All right, folks. It is time for the song of the day. 
and we're going all the way back to 1890. You are old. It's wicked old. 1890? What the? No kidding. The oldest song I think I've ever had on this show. Gotta have something patriotic. How about the original Washington Post March, John hey, Phillips Sousa, with the United States Marine Band. Oh, man. Like I said, oh, recorded on a wax cylinder. I want... Eighteen ninety, before seventy eights even came out. Records. Before I was born. Yep, I can. Way before I was born. Should sound familiar. See, they know this song. Hundred and twenty-two years old, folks. What's the oldest song? It's not the oldest song ever. In fact, a little uh, trivia for you. There was actually a song recorded in 1860. I can't remember what it was. It was just like a woman laughing or something like that. <laughs> but in 1877, I think it was June 12th. Or, it was either June 12th or December 6th. I've seen the dates backwards. But 1877, Thomas Edison recorded, Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Mary had a little lamb, though. Even older. Yep. Computer is very slow today. I don't know how choppy the video is going to be. Oh, uh, no fighting, or otherwise you're banned. And you'll never be on the show again. Then be, get along. Why can't we all get along? That's because Aubrey loves attention. Hey, I want to drink my beer. And I forgot, trivia, random facts of the day. If you don't know that 236 years ago, the Declaration of Independence was written, shame on you. Period, dot, end of story. But, 50 years to the day, that the Declaration of Independence was born. July 4th, 1826. Both the second and third presidents of the United States of America, who both were signers of the Declaration of Independence, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, they both died on that very day. Believe it or not, it is true. 50 years to the day. And then five years after that, James Monroe, fifth president of the United States, died. July 4th, 1831. Me, How about that? So July 4th, we lost three presidents. Um, uh, there was also a president that I believe was born July 4th. George M. Cohan was born July 4th, if I'm not mistaken. The writer of Yankee Doodle Dandy. I know why they wrote that. The late great Al Davis and the late great George Steinbrenner, former owner of the Yankees. They were both born on this day in 1929 and 1930, respectively. So there you have it. There's your facts of the day, folks. And you know something? This show's been an interesting one. It's been a wild one. What the Squeeze hell? me. He does that all the time. I do that all the time. We know that. We're always at your house. Mm, I don't know. Stop it. He has extra hands. Ah, ah, ah. Do you like to look at his hands? <laughs> all right, folks. Look how many hands he has. We got lots of hands. <laughs> you know what time it is, folks? Look, what what? Are, what? It's time to make like a fetus what and head out. So, so everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. We can't. I can't say today because we've got a bunch of girls here. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for scumbags right? like... Eli, oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady, Manning, don't or men slapping it. women. Don't, Things like that don't, are just don't, plain don't, stupid. Don't say it. We're out of here. See y'all tomorrow. Daddy's Have an awesome and safe 4th of July. Yeah. For saying it. And ah. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Daddy. Bye. Daddy, Dad, from that show when you played the song Dead Puppies, don't say it. They're not much fun. <laughs> They're not much fun.